Investor interest in penny stocks has boomed this year with trading volume reaching $548 billion. That's already over last year's volume for OTC stocks and a new record. But as usual, when something becomes popular with regular investors, someone comes knocking at the door and says, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. In this video, I'll show you how the government is trying to kill penny stocks. We'll look at the pros and cons of these small cap investments, and then I'll reveal the five most popular penny stocks among investors. We're talking penny stock investing today on Let's Talk Money. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel, and you know we always get started with that special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Nation, you know we love us some penny stocks here on the channel. The penny stocks we've tracked over the last few years are up an average 64% with nine of those up more than double since recommending. But the government is coming down hard on one part of the penny stock market, those trading on the over-the-counter, the OTC market, rather than one of the formal exchanges like the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ. Now, there are a few legit reasons why a company might choose to list on the OTC market, including if they just don't meet the volume or price requirements of the bigger exchanges. Listing it and the requirements for the NYSE and NASDAQ can be extremely expensive for those smaller companies, so that can be another reason for not listing there. There's also companies forced to list on the OTC market because of those government regulations, like with cannabis companies or cryptocurrencies. So the government doesn't make it easy for penny stock companies, and it's now making it a whole lot harder. A new rule by the Securities and Exchange Commission last week prohibits brokerage firms from quoting prices for OTC stocks unless the companies issuing those shares are completely up to date on their financial reporting. As a result, brokers like Fidelity and Schwab have restricted or removed penny stocks of more than 1,400 companies. Now there is a point to be made here. Uh, some OTC stocks can go dark or fall behind on their financial reporting, effectively just becoming a shell company ripe for manipulation. But the new rule is just heavy-handed and is only going to make it more difficult for regular investors to buy penny stocks. Hell, Fidelity already charges a $50 fee to buy those OTC stocks, and now they outright restrict a lot of these companies. Now, lately, it just seems that the SEC has become more of a big brother, telling investors what they can and can't do rather than its traditional role as a market policeman. Now, we do need an entity to police the market because there are some real risks out there, but not at the expense of investor rights. Now, I want to get to highlighting the pros and the cons, as well as those risks in penny stocks, but if you're looking for a platform to get access to your penny stocks, you might check out the Webull app. I use the platform to track all my penny stocks through their paper portfolio. Webull gives you a million dollars in a simulated portfolio to track your stocks and investing ideas. Use the link I'll leave in the description below and get two free shares worth up to $1,000 each when you start investing. Now, the biggest pro here to penny stock investing is the potential for those higher returns. Research by Willamette University finds the average return for startup investing around 27% annually. That's nearly three times your money over any four-year period. These are the kind of investments that made people like Mark Andreessen and Peter Thiel billionaires, but another rule by the SEC prohibits regular investors from this kind of startup investing. The SEC limits investments in venture capital and private equity to only those with over a million dollars net worth or making hundreds of thousands a year because, and I shit you not here, they say regular investors aren't financially sophisticated enough to make those decisions. Penny stocks are the Main Street investor's door into this world. Those small startup companies with the potential to 10x your money. Another pro is that penny stocks aren't as widely covered by stock market analysts. Nation, all those stock recommendations you see from the big banks like Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan, they aren't there to make you money. Those analysts that go on CNBC and tell you what to buy, they're called sell-side research, and they do that to promote their broker services and make money on your stock trading. Now, I know because that used to be my world. I set up and managed a sell-side department for a venture capital firm. Now, analysts aren't going to cover some super small $100 million company because there just isn't enough interest. It's not going to bring in investor dollars to the brokerage. Now, because of the lack of coverage on penny stocks, it becomes much more possible for regular investors to find those hidden opportunities, those breakaway opportunities that nobody is watching. But you know, as we say here on the channel, it ain't all rainbows and unicorns either. There are risks of penny stock investing that you need to know about. The OTC market isn't as strictly regulated as the exchanges. Companies here aren't required to have their financial reports audited, so you really need to dig deep into the numbers to make sure they make sense. Trading volume on a lot of OTC penny stocks is also extremely low. When there aren't as many investors buying or selling shares of a stock, that can mean the difference between the price someone is offering to sell 
and how much another investor is willing to pay can be a huge difference. For example, shares of ABV Consulting here have a bid of 12 and a half cents. That's what an investor in the market is offering for the shares, offering to pay half of what the stock traded at its last price. And another investor is asking 64 cents to sell their shares, more than twice the last share price. But of course, the biggest risk in penny stocks is that these investments are targets for scams and pump and dump schemes. That's when a group of investors buys up the shares, pumps false or misleading information out into the market to persuade investors to jump in, then dumps their shares after the spike. Some rules for avoiding these types of scams include not investing in stocks with a market cap of below $50 million. Scammers usually go after those companies with a lower market cap because a smaller investment, say a few hundred thousand dollars, can really drive the shares higher. You also want to watch the daily average volume on a stock, and I wouldn't recommend investing in a penny stock with less than maybe 50 or 100,000 shares traded on that daily basis. Again, with these pump and dump schemes, the scammers are looking for stocks that they can manipulate easily. Going back to our ABV consulting example, and I am in no way suggesting that this company is a bad investment or a scam stock, just using it as an example. With just 294 shares traded on average each day and a price of 25 cents, it takes just $73 to double the daily volume. A scammer could come in here, grab a thousand shares for $250, and then send the share price soaring. Okay, now that I've scared you all off penny stock investing, really, these can be great investments, but you do need to watch out and do the research. But now I wanted to highlight the most popular penny stocks out there. To find these, I screened for stocks between $50 to $950 million market cap, and with a share price under $5 each. I then sorted them by average daily share volume to find the stocks with the most shares traded on a daily basis. So now understand here, these are penny stocks with the most active trading volume, not necessarily the best penny stocks to buy. For that list of top 10 penny stocks that I'm buying right now, look for that video in the description below. First here is Naked Brands, ticker NAKD, at 64 cents a share and 53 million shares traded daily. Naked is an undergarments and swimmer company out of Australia that got caught up in the meme stock frenzy earlier this year. It touched $3.40 a share late January, but has then leveled off under a dollar. Rewalk Robotics, ticker RWLK, is an $83 million medical device maker developing robotic exoskeletons for patients with mobility issues. And this is actually one of the few on the list that I'd be interested in looking at more, though the company did miss earnings expectations in three of the last four quarters. It's a strong growth theme that could do something over the next few years. Next here, 88 Energy Limited, ticker EEENF, trades for just two cents a share, but has over 120 million shares traded on a daily basis. This is an oil driller with assets in Alaska, along with a lease on some gold sites, so kind of an odd mix, and one you would definitely have to research if you're gonna invest in. Global Technologies, ticker GTLL, is the smallest penny stock company on the list at just over $50 million market cap, and trading under a penny a share. Now notice though, even on over 56 million shares traded daily, that would still be less than $200,000 in daily volume. So this is one that you would have to be careful with because it doesn't take much to move the stock. Now those are the four penny stocks with the highest daily trading volume. Uh, for this next stock though, I wanted to highlight the most popular OTC stock, even though it's not technically a penny stock. The Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, ticker GBTC, is the most active stock trading on the OTC market, with more than 233 million in daily trading volume. Of course, this is the big Bitcoin trust that because the SEC won't get off its ass and approve a Bitcoin ETF, the shares have to trade on that OTC market. So not all OTC stocks are those risky penny stock companies, but some are just forced to list there on those regulations. Click on the video to the right for the 10 penny stocks under $5 that I'm watching right now, a penny stock list with the potential to 10X your money. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.